What's up, family? Me and Mike G here. It's been a while, but I'm still alive. I didn't die or anything like that. Just been busy with life. But anyways, got six big units, three 1500 trucks like this one, half tons, one Yukon, of course. Uh, 3500 chassis and one canyon. So, Six units going up to Bakersfield. Easy run. While I'm up there, I'll get the truck washed at the blue beacon. Streaking beacon. Get that taken care of. one last one for this unit that is Watch out, it's pink. Right here. Oh, you guys wondering about that little hook. I'm okay, I didn't hit it. Or my, the camera hit it, the truck didn't hit it. But yeah. All right. Always 
to worry about the door last. You can always close it when you're down. All right. That's a little low. Just bring it up one. reason why I don't load it up on table two is one because I don't have a car I'm carrying underneath and two is turning radius I got big stuff underneath up top I need a lot of room up top so that is why I'm loading it the way I am See how much these things cost. Fifty-three thousand dollars. What can you get for that? You get a BMW for that. You get a. These trucks almost cost as much as BMWs. That's what's crazy. Or Mercedes. But more functional. You could use it just about every day. Fuel mileage is like twenty on the highway. So probably you're looking at seventeen miles to the gallon. Eighteen miles to the gallon. So, it is what it is. Need to make sure some of those open, we call them pooch holes. These things are pooch holes, that's what they call them. Make sure my hooks could go into one of them right here. People ask me why do I leave my gloves on while I'm loading these cars. One, they're like, oh, the dirt's gonna get on there. Well, they make, they detail these cars, one, when they receive them, they have to clean them. It's like, why, why is the outside dirty, you know? Well, these things come away all the way up from Texas, some places. So they have to wash them and clean them anyways. wash them and clean them anyways so that and also they uh what you would call it the acid from the sweat from your hands is actually worse than grease actually if you think about it if you know anyone that details 
acid from your hands eats up plastic and clear coat your painting and the paint the clear coat paint the acid from your hands will eat that away but dirt you could put grease on clear coat and you could wash it no damage but the acid from your hands the pH because it's salty there's always want to strap down the biggest guy people ask me why aren't you tying down as you go what am I doing right now I'm strapping the cars when I'm ready to tie down, I'll tie down. Focus one thing at a time. To walk around the trailer versus tying down. Well, you're walking around the trailer, you're just walking. Tying down, you're bending down, getting up, bending down, getting up, trying to pick up that tie down bar. Fresh strap, look at that. Now I can tie down. This is actually not a PTO truck. I just, I turn on the engine because these things draw so much energy from the batteries. It's important to leave it on because you see uh, how the, the hydraulics are working hard. So we're gonna lift these tables up all the way. Because we have uh, another 1500 or a half ton coming underneath here. Up away we go. There we go. Get the pin settings down. Got her other 1500 here. People are like, why are you backing it up? Why can't you just drive it in? One word. Weight. Weight distribution, that's why. Enough. 
people ask me how I get out of the back here. See everything's covered in plastic. Well, this is why you eat your Cheerios every day. And that's how you load in the belly. the height. tell you something you already know the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place and I don't care how tough you are it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it you me or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life but it ain't about how hard you hit it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward how much you can take and keep moving forward that's how winning is done 
pain is temporary. It may last for a minute, or an hour, or a day, or even a year. But eventually, it will subside, and something else will take its place. If I quit, however, it will last forever. The margin for error is so small, I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. You got a dream, you got to protect it something themselves and they want to tell you you can't do it. You want something, go get it. Here. Don't be afraid to fail. You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. You have to believe that something different can happen. He who says he can and he who says he can't are both usually right. That most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Deep down, dig deep down, and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy, no matter how crazy it may sound to the people. Make a choice, like you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide.